Hello World Saviors, this is Enrico Galvini and I hope you enjoyed this video footage from Berlin. Behind me you see the hydrogen fuel station. Here at this fuel station the future has already begun. It's the center, the heart of Berlin. Here you see the television tower of Berlin. Here the official transports like Deutsche Bahn and suburban train passes by and you can see the fuel station out of the window. Here at this fuel station the Berlin official bus armada is getting the hydrogen for their buses. Because here in Berlin are the first hydrogen buses in use at the moment. Here in Berlin are two of the biggest research centers and research stations of Europe to make hydrogen available for the daily routine and for us people. But not many people know about this, so let's have a look at the details. The organization of this project is in the hands of CEP, Clean Energy Partnership. I show you the website right now, so you can google it and see what's going on with this project. And this is really no fake, this is reality since a long time. Here you can see it's located at the Holzmarktstraße 36 up to 42 in 10243 Berlin. And here you can see the manual of usage for the customer activated terminal and for the filling pumps. I just took some pictures. Here you see the instruction how to use it. This is how the terminal looks like. There are two different gasoline pumps or filling pumps. On the one side there is a filling pump with 350 bar for automobiles and buses. And on the other side another filling pump with 700 bar. Bar is a pressure unit because the hydrogen must be compressed to get into the tank. Usually it would be a gas, but the hydrogen gets compressed into liquid hydrogen. If you want to know it more detail, just Google it, please. Here you can see it looks like a normal fuel station. This fuel station should demonstrate that hydrogen is safe. The buses are driving in Berlin, but sadly not many people know about that. And that's the reason why I made this video for you. Here you can see it really looks like a normal fuel station. You insert an ID card and type in a special code. I think this is for security that not everybody would be able to get some hydrogen at the moment. There are also some hydrogen cars in Berlin. Yeah. It's in German. It's just just shows how to use this. Here again you can see the address so if you're interested it's located directly at the Ostbahnhof in Berlin Germany you just have to walk about four minutes from the Ostbahnhof to get there here I give you the telephone numbers again so get you some info materials so now I show you the details of the hydrogen filling pumps check this out there's written H2 hydrogen this is real it will not be far in the future that we will have technologies like this no it's there right now right here the technology is available here you can see two different fuel hoses one of one for the cars and one for the buses that means it's up to us if we ask our governments for technologies like this and demand it to build up an international hydrogen grid for these clean energies maybe you know what is the outstanding special thing about hydrogen the hydrogen which a car fills up burns with the help of oxygen into water. This is the amazing thing. That means the waste products are not harmful exhaust gases. No, out of two make one hydrogen and oxygen are reacting, the result is water. The waste product is just some water. So maybe it would drip a little bit water out of the exhaust pipe. That's it. So how to get the hydrogen? Of course there are many different possibilities. Maybe later on you check out the video again and see all the details. Here you see the electrolyzer. This application splits the water with the help of electricity into its two components, hydrogen and oxygen. Maybe some of you know this from the chemistry classes in school. We did this in our classes. After this procedure, the hydrogen and oxygen gets compressed and will be saved in the tank. The special thing about hydrogen is the possibility to store big amounts of electric energy. Up to now there are no ways to store electric energy. 
that is the reason why they have to turn off the wind turbines because it can happen that the wind turbines produce too much energy and this energy could not be used or delivered anywhere if this amount of energy is not needed in that time. Okay, here's some more texts and some more pictures. I will make another video about electric cars and electric motorcycles. This is another possibility of clean technology for our streets. Just an electric motor with an accu. There are many discussions with technology is the better one. Here you see where the electricity for the electrolyzer comes from to split up the water. Solar cells, alternative energy and some mixed electricity. The water is split up with the help of electric power into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen will be compressed with the compressor and it will be filled into the tanks. And the tanks are connected with the filling pumps. Maybe now you can imagine that this technology is not as complex as many people might think. Usually this hydrogen technology could be placed into every basement or private garden. This is how a hydrogen looks like for a whole fuel station. But if you just want to fuel your own car, it would be much more smaller. Most of the hydrogen you could generate out of water. You just would need some clean filtered water to avoid damages in your motor. So it looks like you see everything is open, even the fence is just a small one. At this side, the common traffic, the common fuel station and normal cars. They are also offer petroleum gas and car gas at this station. And on the other side, there is a hydrogen fuel station. I hope this video will be for a long time on YouTube. And I hope that you will check out these fuel stations to get a feeling for this. That you see it's not real in about 10 years. It's real right now. It's already reality. Here you see the solar cells. Solar cells are not so expensive. One square meter would be around $600. So most of the people could afford one or two of these cells for your house. With these solar cells, the electricity is produced which is needed to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen and to run the compressor for the compression of the emerging gases. It's easy like this. It's not such complicated technology, but many other interests and lobbies might be not be interested that you know this. Many companies would like to have the monopole on producing energy. This is the reason why it takes such a long time to bring this technology into the daily life. The hydrogen in the background, you can see all the details. I really try to film every single sticker for you and to prove that this is really no fake, I'm filming the traffic sometimes that you can see it's real. Here you can see the technical advice for the pin card, look there. See the details, nail hydrogen. You can see also the time and date when I did the recordings. Hydrogen H2. Here the usual traffic at the fuel station and on the other side is the hydrogen fuel station. This is now fake. This is one of the Berlin's hydrogen fuel stations. We have a second one much bigger at the Herrstraße. I was so excited to show you this footage all the time during the producing process. If you liked this video, come back soon to this YouTube channel. I will upload other videos about electric cars and motorbikes in Berlin. This graffiti you can see from the train which is going between Ostbahnhof and Alexanderplatz. Here at this place at the hydrogen fuel station at the other side of the street, directly at the Ostbahnhof, you can see the trains passing by. Please share this video, inform yourself inform your friends and families about these clean technologies. This is our future. This is our chance. I am Enrico Galvini. Thanks for watching. Ciao.